Meet Dr. Robin Taylor, a two-time Troy University graduate and now lecturer for Troy University's Hall School of Journalism and Communication. Dr. Taylor is an experienced journalist with an impressive resume. Aside from journalism, one of the many things Dr. Taylor is passionate about is being a vegan for well over 20 years. It's a little bit of a learning curve when you first start, but after you figure it out and you know figure out there's more to eat than just salad and that there's this whole world of yummy vegan food out there, it's really not hard. Some may find that the vegan lifestyle is shallow especially in the South. But Dr. Taylor does not walk the journey alone. Her seven-year-old son, Brooks, is also a vegan. She says this was a decision that Brooks was able to make on his own, just at the age of four years old. He was pointing to snacks and asked, could he have a snack? And he pointed to something and he said, animal? And I said, yeah, buddy, that has animal in it. And then he pointed to peanut butter crackers and he said, no animal. And I said, right and I handed him the peanut butter crackers and he flipped it over and he pretended to read the back of it and then he hugged it. And I thought, he understands the difference. That one may have, that one may have milk in it, so check the back. After school, Brooks enjoys going to the Troy University bookstore where he can get his favorite vegan-friendly snack, even chocolate milk, but with almond milk instead. If you had a super favorite animal and then somebody had a take away and turn into food, what would that feel like? That would feel sad. So that's basically what we do. We do not let that happen. It was on a field trip to a place like the one here behind me where Dr. Taylor realized that these cows would soon turn into this and she was easily able to make a decision with her heart and not her head. We came back and the cows weren't there anymore. They had gone to be slaughtered. And at that moment, I realized that that was not something I could do anymore to stand next to an animal and feel compassion for it and pet it and then go and eat it. Anthony Thomas, Troy Trojan Vision News.